Okay, now for question number eight from P3 specimen paper. Uh, Liam monitored the population of a small country over a 10 year period. The population P measured in thousands of people is modeled by the equation P equals AB to the power of minus T. It's not very clear in this print. A times B to the power of minus T. That's what it says, I think. Where A, B, A and B are constants and T is the number of years since monitoring began. Okay, show that this equation can be expressed in the form log to the base 10 P equals log to the base 10 A minus log to the base 10 B. Okay, so basically we're going to start off with P equals A times B to the power of minus T. And what we're going to do, obviously, is we're going to take the log to the base 10 of both sides. So we have log to the base 10 of P equals log to the base 10 of A, B to the power of minus T. Uh, because it says show that it becomes this, you have to be clear in your steps. So now the next step here is you're going to split this up, this product up as a, as a sum. As we know from our laws of logarithms that the log of A times B is equal to the log to the same base of A plus the log the same base of B. So this is going to become log to the base 10 of P is equal to, and this will be log to the base 10 of A plus log to the base 10 of B to the power of minus T. And then we can we can use the power law. If you remember the power law is log to the base uh, of 10 A of B is the same as B times log to the base 10 of a okay so this is log to the base 10 of a you're going to use a power law so this power is going to come down here and multiply this log to the base 10 6 so it's going to become negative t times log to the base 10 not 6b okay so log to the base 10 p equals log to the base 10 a minus t log to the base 10 of b it's a b here okay so we've we've shown this with those two, three steps there. Now, the next part of the question tells us that figure two shows a line of best fit for values of t and log to the base 10 p. Okay. And it tells us the line of best fit passes through the points uh, 0 and 1.6 and 10 and 1.4. Okay. All right, using this information, find the value of A and the value of B, giving each answer to four significant figures. So basically what we have here, we have log to the base 10 P equals log to the base 10 A minus T times log to the base 10 B. And it's reduced into this straight line. So let me just do this working up here. So it's reduced into this, it's became basically this, this is a straight line. So the Y axis is log to the base 10 P, as we can see here. So we can say that this is the y. If we remember the straight line is y equals mx plus c. Okay, so m and c are the constants and x and y are the variables. So you can see that the y, this is the y-axis log to the base 10p. So that's your y-axis. And t is your x. Okay, that's on the x-axis, the t. So this is going to be your x. Okay, so that obviously that leaves m times x, which is going to be this. So this is your m. Okay, so we can say that the m is log to the base 10b. Okay, in fact, it's um, the, the gradient is minus, minus, it's negative log to the base 10b of times t. So it's minus log to the base 10b. <coughs> Okay, so it's minus log to the base 10b. <clears throat> okay, so that's your m because there's a minus here. And your c is log to the base 10a. Okay, that's your c. Okay, so you've got your mx plus c. Y equals MX plus C. That's your M, that's your X, that's your C. So the M is the minus log to the base 10B. It's like you've got a negative gradient. Okay, so now let's work out 
what the gradient of this line is, and that's going to equal minus log to the base 10b, and the y-intercept is going to be log to the base 10a. Now, first of all, the y-intercept here, this is the y-intercept, which they've told us is 1.6, because 0, 1.6 means that x is 0, the y is 1.6. So we can say c is equal to 1.6, and the gradient of the line, we know, is the change in y, which is 1.4 minus 1.6 over the change in x, which is 10 minus 0, which is 10. That's 0. Point, that's minus 0. 0.2 over 10, which is negative 0. 0.02. That's the gradient of this line. So we can say that minus 0. 0.02 is equal to minus log to the base 10b. Okay, well, the minus on both sides will cancel out. So we'll say 0. 0.02 equals log to the base 10 uh, b. So using our def definition of logarithms, we know that uh, log to the base a of b equals c can be rewritten as, that's the base, that's the power, so a to the power of c equals b. So I can rewrite this as 10 to the power of 0 0.02 is equal to b. Okay, and also I know that c is 1.6. So if c is 1.6, then um, I also know that in our equation the, the, that c is the same as log to the base 10 of a as we deduced up there okay so that's like your c part the constant part um, the y-intercept so we can say that c is 1.6 so we can say 1.6 is equal to log to the base 10 a so again using the power law this is the base this is the power this is the result so we can say that 1.6 to the power of, sorry, 10 to the power of 1.6, 10 is the, there's a base, 10 to the power of 1.6 is equal to A. So now we can say B is equal to, they want the answers to four significant figures, so we've got to do 10 to the power of 0 0.02, 10 to the power of 0 0.02, whoops, where's the point gone? That gives you 1.047 one to four significant figures one two three four one point zero four seven so one point zero four seven is to four significant figures and then we got ten to the power of one point six for a so ten to the power of one point six and that gives you thirty nine point eight one to four significant figures so a is equal to thirty nine point four one 39.41 okay so there we have the values of a and b that's a and that's b okay so that's the answer to that question is it seven question eight actually question eight part b okay now for part c it says find the rate at which the population was changing exactly eight years after the monitoring began now in this question they're asking about the rate at which the population was changing so this actually tells us the population after the number of years. It doesn't tell us the rate at which it was changing. Now the change, the rate of change of something is when you find its gradient or it's, yeah, so rate of change is, is to do with the gradient, which is to do with differentiating. So if we differentiate, okay, this function, let's write it down first. You got P equals A times B to the power of minus T. Now I'm gonna leave A and B as just letters right now because I don't wanna complicate things, but they're constants, they're just numbers. Okay, so they represent numbers. So I want to find what dp dt is. Okay, so I've got to differentiate this with respect to x. So this is like an exponential function. Now, in general, okay, if you have y equals a to the power of x, then dy dx is equal to a to the power of x times lin a. And if there's a function inside this function, you'd have to multiply by that using the chain rule. So that's the general form of it, okay? Don't, don't get confused with this A. Here, here the constant is, I mean, A is just a constant anyway here, but B is a constant here, uh, which is to the power. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say dp dt is A times B to the power of minus T. See, it stays the same. This stays the same as it is. But then you multiply by the lin of, okay, the number here, which is B. But then you multiply by minus one because the differential of minus t with respect to t is minus one so you can say dp dt is going to be minus a times b to the power of minus t lin b this is the rate of change 
of the population with respect to time. So we want to find what the rate of change is when t is equal to 8 because uh, the t was a number of years after the monitoring began. So we can say when t, t is equal to 8, the rate of change of the population dp dt is minus a. Now a was 10 to the power of 1.6 times b to the power of minus t. So you're going to have b which is 10 to the power of 0 0.02 raised to the power of negative 8 times the lin of b which is the lin of 10 to the power of 0 0.02 so if i work out what this is using my calculator okay so i've got my calculator out now so you're going to have minus 10 to the power of 1.6 okay times you're going to have 10 to the power of 0 0.02 to the power of minus 8 times oops to go down here times and this is the same as uh, 0 0.02 times lin 10 0 0.02 times the lin of 10 using the power law here okay and then that gives us minus 1.2683. 1 minus 1.2684. Minus 1.2684 dot dot dot. So what we can say is we have to remember the model is talking about in thousands of people. P is measured in thousands of people. So this is not minus 1.26 people. Okay, we can therefore say that you know the basically the population is declining population is decreasing because it's a negative rate is decreasing okay at a rate of um if you multiply by a thousand you have one thousand two hundred and seventy i've just rounded to three sf 1,270 people per year, okay, per year, because T's in years. So that's the rate of decrease. So you have to have mentioned the word decreasing, not changing, because it's saying, how is it changing? So you've got to tell, is it changing going up or down? So Because it's a negative rate, it's going down. So it's decreasing by a rate of 1,270 people per year. Okay, every year. So that's the answer to this, this question.